In this tutorial, I'm going to discuss conditional probability. There are links to other videos on conditional probability below. Imagine there are three boxes, and in each box there are defective and normal parts. The defective ones I'm going to make gray like that, and the normal parts will be the colored, like in this case it's the blue ones. And in each box there's a different number of defective and normal parts. I'm going to show you how to calculate the probability of picking a defective part and also the probability of picking a normal part. To do this, I'm going to build a little tree and with several branches, like a probability tree. Let me build this in right here. So what's the probability of picking something from the blue box and picking a defective or normal? What's the probability of picking something from the green box, defective or normal? and also from the red box, defective or normal. So I'm gonna build a tree like this. And eventually, I'll have the probabilities for picking a blue defective part, probability of a green defective part, and a probability of a red defective part. And I can add these probabilities together to get the total probability. Then I'll show you how to calculate the probability of picking a normal part from the blue box, normal from the green, and normal from the red and adding up these three probabilities will give us the probability of picking a normal part. There is a one out of three chance I'll pick a blue box, a one out of three chance I'll pick a green box, and a one out of three chance of picking a red box. All these one-thirds add up to one or a hundred percent. Once I go down the blue path or pick a blue box, there's a chance to pick a part that is normal and also a chance to pick a part that is defective. There are two defective parts out of the blue box and three normal parts. The chance of getting a defective part is two out of five. The chance of picking a normal part is three out of five since there are three, one, two, three, normal parts. If I take these two branches, the defective and the normal branch, and add them together, that is three-fifths plus two-fifths, adds up to five-fifths or one. Once I pick a box, I'll either pick a defective or normal part. To calculate the probability of picking the blue box, then picking a defective part, I take two-fifths times one-third, which is equal to 2 over 15. To calculate the probability of picking the blue box, then picking a normal part, I take 3 fifths times 1 third, and this is equal to 3 over 15. I will do the same thing for the green box. Draw that in here. Since there are six parts and one of them is defective, there's a one in six chance of getting a defective part from the green box. Since five of the parts in the green box are normal, there's a five out of six chance of getting a normal part. If I take these two branches from the green box and add them together, I get one six plus five six, which is equal to six six or one. So once I pick the green box, there's a 100% chance of picking a normal or a defective part. To calculate the probability of picking the green box, then picking a defective part, I multiply 1 6 times 1 3rd, which is equal to 1 over 18. The probability of picking the green box, then picking a normal part, is 5 6 times 1 3rd, or 5 over 18. I can see I'm running out of space, so let me move this around here and there. Now for the red box. Once I decide to pick the red box, there's a three out of eight chance. Since there's three defective parts and there's a total of eight parts, there's a three over eight chance of picking a defective part. And there's a five over eight chance of picking a normal part. If I add these two branches together, they'll add up to one. So I have three over eight plus five over eight which is equal to eight over eight, which of course is equal to one. 
So once I pick the red box, I'm going to either get a defective or a normal part. So going back to the beginning, what's the chance of picking a red box, then getting a defective part? I take 3 eighths times 1 third, and this is equal to 3 over 24. What is the probability of picking the red box, then getting a normal part? I take 5 over 8, 5 eighths times 1 third, which is equal to 5 over 24. I know this seems messy, kind of like a head wound. It looks worse than it is, but hey, just hang in there. To calculate the probability of picking a defective part from the very beginning, picking a box and picking a defective part, I take these and add up all the different probabilities. To make life easier, I'm going to convert these to decimals. So 2 over 15 is equal to 0.133, 1 over 18 is equal to 0 0.0555, and 3 over 24 is equal to 0 0.1250. I add up all these together, and this is equal to 0.3138. So the chances of getting a defective part from the very beginning is about 31.38% or 0.3138. To calculate the probability of picking a normal part, I take these three branches and I add them together, the three normal branches. I'm going to convert this to decimal as well to make it easier. To make life easier, I'm going to convert these all to decimals and then I'm going to add them all up. And when I add these three up, I get... 0.6860, or about a 68.6% .6 chance of picking a normal part. The probability of picking a defective part and the probability of picking a normal part should add up to 1, or 100%. Something's going to happen. So share the knowledge, share the love, Facebook, Twitter, Google+, if anybody uses Google+. I shouldn't say that since it's YouTube. But anyway... Subscribe, like the videos, helps other people find the videos. Good luck in your classes.